and welcome back to the unboxers and today we have something super exciting for you and it barely fits in the studio so i'm gonna back up a little bit Ooh, and it is an awesome backpack yes look at that this backpack is by dame Hope, hopefully i'm saying the name of yeah. that right and we want to say a great big thank you to dame for sending this to us for free to share with you today. So this is a super special backpack. It says ages eight plus, and I will show you why. So this backpack can be customized with really cool different little um, play pieces. And I'll show you those to you in a second. But they have an underwater one. And you said this is dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. And then they have space. Let me zoom in so I can give you a closer look right there there you have it now that area of the backpack it's showing is this part right here where you see this clear piece and what it is you can unzip it and then you add in this really cool background the, the display so they board sent us, yes they sent us this one which as you can tell is the under the sea one you see the little ship in the background it looks really cool and it has all of these little um holes or places where you can um put pegs in and i'll show you in a moment just what you can do to customize it so as you can see they sent us the under underwater one or under the sea and what do we have to go with it oh sea of critters. course sea creatures so on this set of sea creatures looks like we're gonna get a treasure chest i think that's a jellyfish hidden up there a sea turtle a whale a shark a little crab a starfish and some i'm guessing that's like an anemone or some sea coral. coral yeah it looks like a little bit of both very cool so the way this backpack works is you take our little sea friends Oh, it shows it on the side. Um, and you place them anywhere on here that you want. And it has these little pegs so that you can peg them into position to decorate it any way you choose. So I'm going to come up. I'm going to show you real quick the top of this. See right there? So if you were going to put the shark right there, and then you would put the little pegs to peg the shark into place. And then you will slide this awesome piece into the front of your backpack, and you will have a customized backpack yeah. that you helped build here's our little tool so they have a specialty tool to help you get the little pegs in and out um, and let's go ahead and show off the backpack so let's go ahead and get this backpack out of the box and get to creating our own underwater design okay time to show off the backpack now it does come in this really cool black bag to protect it um, inside the box and I think that's awesome I just thought we might have a harder time taking it off in front of camera um, with the space we have but that's really cool a little drawstring bag so that you can um, put the backpack in or you can save your extra pieces from your yeah. collection um, your under the sea pieces can go in there as well or you can just wrap it around your backpack for extra protection or if so, you have like um, if you had multiple that's true. That, yeah, like, multiple you know, sets. But like the, I got the space one in the bag, but I got Oh, the, yeah. You know. I like it. I like it. So, and it does, it's a really soft little bag yeah. there. Um, all right. So time to show off the backpack. So as you can see here, we were um, checking it out. It does have like a layer of, you know, film protection here to protect this plastic. And then it has a layer in the inside as well. But we're going to go ahead and show off the features. If John will stand it up for me. Ta -da! let's go ahead and see the side first so on the side it has really cool this one if you can see it has almost like insulated oh yeah yeah insulation right here so that you like can keep something cold cold or hot or whatever yeah. and it has this awesome zipper to expand the size of the cup or container that you can put in there it has the little dame right there Dame or Dome, I'm probably saying it wrong, but it's like a little rubbery um, little thing right there. That's really cool to, with the little symbol. And now let's turn to the back. 
Now the back it has those like um, straps that kind of start off. Let me see if I can do this. Start off at the top and then swoop down like this. And these are like more comfortable on your shoulders. It kind of disperses the weight a little better rather than just having your traditional like straight down um, straps. Oh, yeah. As well as they have these where you can connect little things. That's awesome on both sides. So um, those little like carabiner things right. or um, any little decorations you might have. It also has, yeah, it has other loops yeah. here as well. This is very well made, nicely stitched. If you can look, there's padding on this side all the, the way down. To, yes, against your back. and padding on the back. Um, and so both of those, and then they are adjustable. The straps are adjustable. Um, let's go ahead and turn it around. Oh, look, there's a little light here where we zipped it. Mm -hmm. It even has a little tag. Um, let's go around to the other side. So on the other side, I feel like, okay, so this side um, is just like a regular, it does have like a double layer, but it doesn't have quite like that insulated layer. Um, in, but it has like an extra a black layer inside of there. And then you can also zip that one to expand the size of it. Um, that's our tag. And then the middle section opens with a double zipper. And let's take a look inside. So we're diving into the backpack. Hopefully you can see it. There's a strap right here. Very dark in there. And then it has like two padded sections right here. Like a smaller one in the front and then a bigger one for like your laptops or anything that you want to have that extra protection around. Um, and I love that they made those pockets nice and padded. And then you have your front section here as well as I think a zipper. So this also could hold yeah. some extra things or extra pieces that you might need. Um, glasses, books, smaller things, um, smaller toys or whatever you might want to carry inside there. And then you have this middle section for um, the bigger items. So very cool that it has so much within there. And then we also have a strap once he closes it up on the top. So in case you're holding it, um, holding it by this and it's a nice padded, um, well, well made strap right here that feels nice and sturdy to hold the backpack by this when it's not on your back. So let's go ahead and take a look at the front because so we are about the, to decorate it. Yeah, so this is the feature that's really going to set it apart. Yes, this is going to this is going to do it. So uh, right now it kind of looks like an astronaut yeah. thing going on. You want to grab the other side for me? We're going to unzip this piece oh, and open it up just like that. So you'll notice at the top there's a piece of Velcro, which will help our little... Um, board stick display board to stick inside and then these which there's a little notch on the back of our display board so this will sit right up against there and fit nicely and snug in place so let's go ahead and remove the inner layer of plastic Ta -da! very cool and then we'll flip it up to remove our outer layer of plastic and I'm going to go ahead and let John do that off camera while I show off the display board real quick so that we can show you how it's going to look inside. But before we do, let's talk about what it comes with. Now these are open, obviously, because I have already been displaying the cool sea creatures on the front of the display board. So these are, um, have, it says contains 30 pieces. This is the longer size. So I'll show you the difference. So these are the little pegs that help hold the little sea creatures in place. And then, so you get 30 of that size and you get 30 of this size, which as you can tell, I used mostly this size, but um, it's all depends on how you want to do it. So you can see the difference here with the shorter pegs and then the longer pegs. The longer pegs are to kind of, um, help some of them stand a little further off the display board to give you that full 3d effect so and then um i would suggest you know once you open those up kind of put them in a bag or something uh, or maybe a little container so that you can just kind of keep them all in one spot together then you have these which i did not open to use 
but um, it's another way to connect it. You put these in the same spots as the pegs would go, and then it has these little elastics, and you wrap it around. It'll show you on the back. So if you put like a figure, uh, one of our sharks or something on there, you can put the pegs around it and loop the little elastics on to hold it in place. So it's another way to ho help hold it in place, which is awesome. I did not use this style, but obviously it's really cool to have the different ways to attach them. All right, so now let's take a look at our display board. So, ta-da! Check that out! So I have really had a lot of fun decorating this display board with all of our sea creatures. Um, right here you can see I chose to put the little treasure chest down here at the bottom, our little crab friend, our, um, our sea star. I always say starfish, and they, yeah. I think they call it sea star too. Um, and then there's our sea anemone and coral, our jellyfish, our whale, and our shark. Now the whale is the one that I put the longer um, pegs on, and you can see he kind of stands further out, like he's you know swimming closer than yeah. some of the other stuff. So that's really cool. You can add that effect to any of the um, pieces. I will tell you um, when you're putting him on, you can see you can see. I don't know if you can see between there. There's still some room for, of peg in there. Don't push really hard on that thinking it's supposed to go further into the creature. It's supposed to be like that so that it can, so that he can, you know, stand off a little further. So that is the correct way to do that one. I just don't want you to push it into that because it might damage the, the pegs. Um, but anyway, so this board is really, really nice and thick and well made. It's almost like, it feels like a fiberglass. Mm -hmm. type deal um so now i've put in four of the little pegs up here i don't know if you can see it yeah and now john is going to attach our little <laughs> turtle. <laughs> sea turtle so as you can let's show the back of him so the back of him has the little holes in the back and usually the pegs um will have usually a thing between it so don't think that the pegs line up that the middle holes will not be you know will not be used because this pegs are further apart so you line it up to where you want it to be and then you just kind of wiggle it wiggle it and gently very gently a little gently <laughs> <laughs> anyway very gently just push him up in there and you'll feel because the pieces on the other side the holes are rubbery so they just kind of go oh, okay. around um, there so it's it just kind of nicely fits snug around those pieces and then we have our little little sea turtle up there swimming up to the light look he's swimming up to the light so let's go ahead and add our display board to our backpack and show you the awesomeness that this creates okay so here's what i'm talking about it does have a little groove and then the, the you slide this from the top and then it slides right into the groove and then velcros at the top so let's go ahead and so the way it's like yeah it's not going anywhere it's not going anywhere for sure Let's go ahead and zip it up. Whoa, very cool. That's Look so at cool. that. Wow, now that you've got all the plastic cleared off, it really looks like we have a little tank yeah. on our back, like a little fish tank or a little ocean. That is really awesome. So I think this is really cool because you can customize however, which way ever you want it. And right. it's got three different worlds to choose from. Mm -hmm. um, if you choose to have some dinosaurs swimming around on the ocean, so be it because you'll be the talk of the town with yeah. the most unique backpack. Very, very cool. I love this little bubble. And this is a well-made backpack. It has a little bit of heft to it because of the nice, well, nice quality of pieces and the display board. Yeah. So I just want to let you know, it's not like it's, it's definitely solid. It oh, is definitely, really, yeah. really cool. Um, I think this is just not for kids because mm -hmm. <laughs> I am loving it already. Um, and we love under the sea stuff. And I think this, this one's going to be a great big hit. No, oh, definitely. Yes. So my favorite piece, ah, I don't know. I love the sea turtle and the jellyfish, but Maybe it's the treasure that's got my eye. Oh yeah, that is. What a about cool piece. you? Um, I think they all are pretty cute, but I think I like the whale. 
the whale. It is really cool. Whale and I love seen. the way that they include the pieces so that you can um, have them stick off a little further. You can see you have some depth in there to work with. Um, yeah, I've never really seen anything like this. No. And with all the holes in there, you have all of those options. It's got even the little ship mast in there. Yeah. Uh, so this is a really unique backpack. So we want to say another great big thank you to... Dame. For sending this to us for free to share with you today. We sure have enjoyed taking a look at this awesome backpack and trying out all of these sea creatures. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching. As always, come back and see us. Like, subscribe, and we will see you next time. <laughs>